Uh, legend the- has that they are still fighting in the Golden Corral right now. And this is continuing to go on. Uh, Dan, really fast, I want your response before we tell you why this started, because it's ridiculous. At the very end of that video, you just see like a, a thing that just says like gather together or something like that at the top as you see this brawl <laughs> happening and it's just amazing. But my first t- hot take reaction is, wait, why are they at Golden Corral for the steak? Because they're fighting mm-hmm. over steak over all they're these things. They're fighting over like, steak. Let's go, to, let's go to some of the details of this because there's multiple accounts. It's steak, but it's not how the steak started the fight. Um, so. Uh, <sighs> I already point out it's from the Pennsylvania Golden Corral, we saw that. But also, uh, the, it, they said it started after a customer was enraged. This is the first graphic, you guys. After a customer was enraged over the buffet chef serving another man his steak before him. Uh, so uh, this customer's name is Alex Alexis Rios. And he said that the brawl started after he received his steak before another person who was there before him. So there was a bit of an issue with whether or not my steak was being made correctly. Or are you putting someone else ahead of me? That's a typical restaurant beef, I can see that. So also Rios said that the fight began after a male customer got angry with the buffet cook who gave him his steak first despite being there before him, as I pointed out. The cook is trying to understand what you want and give you what you want is what Rios said. I had a rare steak, which is a lot faster to cook than a well done steak. This is why I got my steak first. He also said that COVID may have been a factor in the fight uh, as the masks make it hard for people to understand each other. So I don't know what could have been said that would have been muted by a mask that caused this to happen. People are just hungry and they want their steaks. Also lastly, there was another witness, Gavin Lauletta. I think he's the one who shot that video. He said that the fight erupted after a party, cut another party off in line and uh, they took that last steak. So um, I don't know, there's a bunch of versions of this, the fight broke out. The main thing I took from this was, as you point out, Dan, who knew the steaks at Golden Corral were that good? Or maybe it's at this specific Golden Corral, and this steak chef definitely needs a raise because he put his foot in it. He don't care. He, it's, he, it's what's gonna happen. Yeah, shout out Tommy for showing me the story. One of my friends originally, but like he, this is maybe one of the best Golden Corrals in the country because <laughs> that's some Waffle House fighting right there. That better be like very, very good steak. Might break vegetarianism just for that. Waffle House has the good steaks too? I mean, I thought it was just the, the waffles. No, I'm just saying like that kind of fight is something I would see at a Waffle House. Like I wouldn't expect that kind of fight at Golden Corral. If the food is that worth fighting for, then I might consider going to a Golden Corral for mine and producer Brett's birthday. <laughs> well, Dan, um, the one thing I do wanna say lastly, before we go to this next break is that the stakes were high there. I mean, they were it's just so staking high. their claim on their food. I'm just saying, you know. You know, if I were there, I would have reached out to the chairman of the company to find out why this brawl was happening in the middle of the corral. My kid is gonna give me trouble for this later because <laughs> I can toss dad jokes at him all day. I got, I got more, you want more, Dan? You want more? 